Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Imani and I love all things planner and self-care related. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss new content. So in today's video, it's the end of January, so I'm going to flip through my January spreads and plan for February. Stay tuned. Okay, I got my agenda ready, got the coffee ready, let's go. So I really enjoy my first full month in this agenda folio. It does not lay flat on the first page, which does bother me a bit, but I do find that if the planner is flipped open and you know I'm sort of like in the middle of the schedule section, for example, or even in the notes section, then it's fine. Like I don't really have any issues with it. So January was a decent month. I think that um, you'll find that, of course, as life gets busy, I don't really check in as often. I'm thinking as far as my, um, tracker is concerned i think i have a few days that are blank or just like didn't go back to make sure i crossed off all of my to do's on my tracker which i definitely need to be better about that's something that i need to exercise a little bit more discipline with so here is the habit tracker for the month of january i'm going to flip it around so you can see it um as you can see i would think that like second or third week of January was definitely busier because I just did not track anything at all from like the 14th through the 19th. I think I just tracked the gym. Other than that, I didn't really track much, which is not good. And there are a few habits that I definitely need to work on, but I like using habit trackers and I keep them because it helps me to see like where I'm making progress, for example, where I may need to adjust my goals. So for example, I'm doing really well with like business tasks right like i completed a lot of business tasks every day and like my goal with business tasks is just one task per day like it doesn't have to be three four or five tasks but if i complete at least one task i'm giving myself a check mark so i can do a lot better with no spend <laughs> um i'm pretty decent with water so really a habit tracker just helps you to get an overall view of your goals and i'm always an advocate of finding ways to track your goals and go back and review them okay so next is this page which i really didn't use as much this is the inbox page um i did add a few sticky notes i know these probably don't really make a lot of sense this was a book recommendation from my boss from a nine to five but otherwise i think we'll find that see i didn't even go back to cross off any january tasks but because I did research cards. So let me grab a pen actually and cross some of this stuff off. So this pen came in the January sub box from Cloth and Paper. I am obsessed with white barrel, I think that's what it's called, white barrel pens. Like it doesn't matter. Um, well, obviously the nib size matters. So this is 0.5, but the barrel of the pen itself, like if it's white and it has a 0.5 nib size, I'm probably going to use it. So I don't know what I wanted to return to Amazon. I'm not going to lie to you, so I did not do that. Um, I updated LinkedIn. I researched cars. I'm still in the process of joining the credit union or just sort of debating whether or not I want to do it. Um, we figured out my mom's gift. I took care of the membership thing or I joined that volunteer board. I didn't really get an opportunity to volunteer in the way that I wanted to. And I still need to schedule my dentist. I know that has been a rollover task for months now, but when I called, I just, they needed more information. I'm like, okay, I'll take care of it later. So let's flip through and see what else January had to bring. So as you can see, I didn't really look at this page much during the month. So I did not read two books. <laughs> just gonna be honest there. I definitely worked out at least twice a week i did pay off a credit card and i did not go to yoga twice this month the yoga class is sundays like very early in the morning which is typically fine but i do watch my nephew so that can be a little tough i think there was like one week i didn't journal so i'm not gonna cross that off and then i did not limit tiktok to one hour a day so you know it was a rough start to my goals for the month of um, January and really for the year, but 
I just, it's something about like coming off of that storm in Buffalo and getting into the new year and it's just super cold and we haven't had consistent sun in like over a month. So it's, it's been a rough transition, but I am taking vitamins um, per the direction of my doctor. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to expand on what I'm taking, but I think that should help for sure. I know in the last video when we were talking about the January setup, I mentioned not really knowing what to do here. And as you can see, I like barely did anything. So I know I paid all of these bills. So I am gonna cross it off, but this is not something I look to um, track here. So nothing wrong with that. I didn't really cross anything off here either. Um, I know I definitely struggled last video to fill this out and everything here happened. It's just, you know, I didn't come back to cross it off, but it's all good. This was the week after the storm here in Buffalo, so yeah, I didn't I didn't plan that week. <laughs> here is the first week of January. This was definitely a laid back week for me. I think I was just in sort of plan mode, right? I wasn't really looking to make things a little more colorful with any highlighters, but as you can see, I did get a lot accomplished. So a lot of people ask the difference between being crossed out or being sort of squiggled out I guess crossed out means that it happened squiggled means that it did not happen so um as you can see I got some things done other things probably you know could have used some work I know I talked to Christian that week so that could be crossed off and everything else is stuff that I still need to work on so definitely more minimal week here so as you can see it was the second week that things like started to get back to quote normal so i'm gonna take this off this was actually a pre-plan for the following week i just decided to grab this arched sticky note from cloth and paper and plan the week of the 16th to through the 22nd so i'm gonna put that there but here i used the beige mild liner it's my favorite highlighter I think I talked about that last time, just to highlight the meetings and the, the events that I had. And then I used Olive to highlight the to-dos, some of them, just the first two days. I guess I just kind of gave up the other three days or what, five days? Anyway, so over here on the to-do list, I highlighted the most important tasks and as you can see, I did not complete two important tasks, which was finishing a book and then contacting HR about my dental insurance to get that information. But I find that like highlighting the most important things helps things to stand out. So when I look here, my eyes are immediately drawn to, oh, like that spoken word of it, which I did go to, so I'm gonna cross that out. Um, and I definitely had this 2023 meeting. Um, so those things stand out and jump out at me you know all of these things happen why did i not cross them out maybe because they're at the top so i had my car appointment my car got messed up um i think i actually canceled this 230 call yeah i remember canceling that so that's everything that i accomplished get crossed off no but it is nice for me to just look back and say okay i see what you know what i did and um I know what I need to shift over to the next week. Also, how I start the week is very different than how I end the week. I'm pretty sure I just mapped out the, like in the beginning of the week. So like on a Sunday, which is the end of the week for me. <laughs> um, but at the end of the week, I map out the next week, right? And so I'm pretty sure I just mapped out the tasks that I highlighted in the beige color. Then I probably on Sunday planned for Monday. After that, all of this is more like sort of daily planning. I also daily plan by using sticky notes. So this is actually um, a sticky note for the last YouTube video I think I posted. This is just, it was like timestamps, right? So that's also a different way to plan ahead, but also stay in the moment and plan as you go. So here's the following week, which was a lot more calm. Um, as I mentioned before, I definitely pre-planned on this sticky note. So then it was easier for me to just go through and plan during the week. Um, I definitely did not cross off everything that I needed to do. I know I did not film that video, so we're just gonna 
cross that off. I know I did finalize this coming week. So things got accomplished. Some things didn't. But um, what I really like is just consistency. You can see that this is basically my planning style here. And this is the current week, which um, I still need to update. Um, I'm film I'm actually filming this on the Saturday before this video goes live because life has been really hectic lately. So I can I'm gonna go through and just sort of complete the tasks that I know I completed this week and then come back and continue the flip through. Okay, so here is the updated week. It's currently the 28th. I did not go to the gym class this morning. I just woke up too late to go because I was up very late last night, but it's all good. I put this sticky note on Sunday because I know I didn't really need to plan anything for Sunday. So I wrote this affirmation after just, um, you know, working through some stuff through journaling and some self care. And I figured that was a great place to put it. So. After that, I think we've reached the end of the week. I don't know why I have like ink spots here randomly. But anyway, as you can see, I have not been using daily inserts. I think I just find that the weekly spreads are really working for me. Just enough space to do a quick to-do list. I, f I think if life gets a little busier, I'll definitely use a sticky note. But for now, there's really no reason for me to do it. Okay, so here are the three inserts I'm going to do for the January planner set up. This is a daily gratitude log. Um, I missed this last month and I think it would be a really great self-care exercise for me to implement this again. So I'm going to start this daily gratitude log again in February. I will definitely do another habit tracker, maybe change some of the tasks or at least adjust them. And then this is the monthly insert. So let's start with the daily gratitude. So for the uh, daily gratitude log, there's really not that much to do to prep for the new month. But what I am going to do is just write February. I just like to have it here instead of right there. I don't know. That's just something that... It's kind of quirky about me. I'm currently grabbing the beige mild liner just to outline that. I think this is going to bleed a little bit. Yeah, it definitely bled a little bit, but not enough to bother me. And yeah, that's it for the daily gratitude log. So next is the habit tracker, which is actually the project schedule um habit tracker kind of it's not even really a habit tracker it's like something that's meant to be used for projects but this just goes to show you can really make inserts work for you what i am going to do is grab january's habit tracker to see what i need to carry over Here is January. I'm still gonna write February here. I think I'm just in a lowercase mood. I do find that sometimes, like I don't even like writing in uppercase a lot of the time. If you look at my spreads, like I write in lowercase. So in the comments below, let me know, are you like a lowercase writer? Do you like to write uppercase? Are you proper with it? With, you know, it's like the first word of the sentence is capitalized. How do you write? I think for me, it's just a lot easier right in lowercase, except when I'm doing like AM and PM and sometimes the month. But as you can see, even here, I did lowercase for February. So like that's my lowercase F. So I don't know. It's definitely, definitely different. So I'm just going to write self care here. Okay. Um, I don't have this little calendar thing set up for February yet. We did get it in the January box. Actually, we got February and March, I realized, but what I'm going to do is just use this to see what day 
February starts on, which is a Wednesday. So I'm going to put first. I do find this is 0.5 right yeah it's a 0.5 nib size but for some reason I just think you know maybe I needed something smaller than 0.5 because I feel like I was running out of space once I got to the 20s but anyway so I'm going to put some of my more uh, lacking habits at the top so like I think for this one I did um, like an order that I would achieve it, but instead I'm gonna do in order of like what is really important for me. Okay, this is done. So now we're gonna move on to the sort of weekly spread. Okay, so I'm only going to, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, plan the to-do list, plan for Monday and just write out the events. And that's it, like I'm not gonna do to-dos for every day because I do sort of like to plan that the day of sometimes, other times it just doesn't happen that way, but I know that I have that happy hour and I think it's at six, I think so. That's what I wrote on the monthly calendar. So that's what we're gonna write here. So we're gonna say happy hour. This is a Sarasa, not my, my favorite. Okay. Happy hour. I'm hoping I can do one of those things where I just stay for a bit and then leave, you know, like show face. <laughs> Happy hour at 6 p.m. Then we have on Monday, my mom's birthday. So that's right. Mom's birthday. Then we have the gym. Trying to go a little earlier than 6.15, trying to be there at 6, which is still early, <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, I should have wrote gym first here. Gym at, what is that? Oh, yep, 6. Oh, I paused there. I thought I made a mistake. The class on Saturday is like a weightlifting class. So I'm still going to put gym at 8.30 and then again the yoga class is Sundays at 8.30 as well so let's just write yoga at 8.30 knowing that I may not make it 
and if not i can always do like a routine at home like i have to remind myself just because you don't go to class doesn't mean you can't look one up on youtube so the third definite day for the gym is wednesday so we're gonna write gym at 6 a.m and for now that is that's it that's all i have for sort of events or like meetings so i'm just gonna write a quick to-do list so that is at least set for the month so this to-do list again just gives me a rough outline for the next week i know i do want to go to the gym three times this week or this coming week rather and i know i have a doctor appointment a doctor's appointment the sixth so for me prep is just educating myself a but knowing that i have like a ton of questions right and to see what whether my thought process is right so that's kind of what i consider prep to be like i just don't want to go and be like hey and just chat like i want to have a list of things to do so i know i want to get my questions ready i know i want to journal this week i want to read twice that's where i'm gonna put read two times like at minimum i'm gonna write biz taxes knowing that i'm not really talking about the taxes but more so about the accounting portion of it and then what else okay so as far as the credit union thing is concerned i have an application i just have to get the money out and like give it to the credit union itself to open something up so I just need to go to the bank really and get the money out since the credit union is technically not at the place that I bank at, but it's all good. I'm looking at my January and my February list. I mean, I don't want to create tasks if they, if they don't exist, but I do think it may be helpful to have you know, an idea of like some of the tasks I want to complete. I will say one thing I do to just sort of prepare myself for happy hour is like find out who's going to be there. So I, I'm going to say happy hour prep, but that sounds so weird and it sounds quirky, but I just don't want to go unprepared. You know, I want to know who's going to be there and know a little bit about them. And I think that gives me some things to discuss and then Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to finish Valentine's Day prep. The problem for me is that I change my mind often in the sense that like, I know generally what I wanna do. Like I wanna go out to eat, right? But <laughs> my places and like the ideas I'm thinking about for places to eat change in the blink of an eye. So I just need to decide and make the reservation and send it out and stop changing my mind. Gonna grab beige again just to narrow down the priorities let's see gym doctor's appointment prep is a priority journaling's priority um i have to do that credit union thing today that's important not today but like this coming week and then i have to narrow down at least reservations for valentine's day and my mom's birthday in the gym it's just gonna be like a beige type of layout i guess which i am not opposed to at all so oh i love this color isn't beige just so beautiful someone asked me in one of my recent posts like what is that a mild liner i'm like yes i, I want to tell everybody about this mild liner it's just so neutral but it's like the perfect shade of beige to me like you can put cooler colors with it like if you wanted to put like blues and stuff i feel like that would look good blues and greens like that olive color definitely looks good with it but also if you wanted to do like pinks i feel like that would be really pretty too so i don't know i just i could talk about that all day
Okay, that's it. Um, I am going to put this behind all of the January stuff still since we have a few days left in the month. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions about the products that I've used or something that I've said, feel free to put it in the comment box below or you can send me a DM or email. I'm fine with either way of communicating. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.